I'm your favorite gamer girl, and here we are at Nerd Herder. Gamer ghoul, you could say, for. I'm your favorite gamer ghoul. <coughs> We've got Tony Zaret. Well, no, today I'm not Tony Zaret. Today I am Sir Arthur Brass Buttons, the character from my steampunk erotica. And it is a character of a polyamorous uh, steampunk that I've sort of created. And then we have Bardia Salimi. Bardia? Have Bardia Salimi 1. I don't know who that is. What is a name other than a label that society gave us? <laughs> no, I'm Joker. I don't care about anything. <laughs> I think everything's funny now that I'm a clown. <laughs> oh. I'm just to talk about this. What? Talk about how I'm method acting for the Me show. What? Method man? Oh, talk about how I'm method acting for the show on Thursday. Oh, your show. He's doing a show. Barty is doing a <sighs> show. I, we can't make it, but he's doing a, a play. I can't make it though. I, it's too far. Who yeah, said that? It's too late. Get out of my head. All these voices in my head. Get out, man. <laughs> yeah. And what's your, what's your costume? I love the fake blood. Fake blood? Oh, it's n oh, on your face? Oh, you're, you're ble I think you're bleeding. Oh my God. Bit. Getting me all you excited know, here. Um, I love blood. Yeah, you are bleeding, no, like a nosebleed and the eye. Are you really bleeding? You guys know I'm not, you like, really I'm not your or? regular girl, so. Yeah. Well, my period stopped from my juice cleanse, so. So, but what, but that would be I believe, be apparently, and now it's coming would out of it? my eyes. Huh. So we've got The Mandalorian, a new Star Wars TV show on Disney Plus. Yeah, now this I love. It's about Boba Fett's sort of universe. I wouldn't watch Star Wars unless they put a clown character in it. I only like clowns. <laughs> well, and that's why I liked the sort of inclusion of, the, of Jar Jar Binks and the Gungans, because to me they added a much needed dose of humor to the Star Wars universe, and this is sort of why I hope we get these characters in the, in the new series. The accent and the flatulating they do is very funny. And I think you will love it as a joker. I don't, I don't know the word love anymore. <laughs> Ever since I started dressing like a clown. <laughs> now with the, with the method thing, you, do, you just do it the whole time or is this gonna be going the whole? Yeah, it's, it's like Daniel Day-Lewis stuff, all right? Okay. And we'll edit this, obviously. But uh, yeah, this is like Daniel Day-Lewis, how he makes... Who's that? A new trailer just came out, Rise of the Skywalker. It's just Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Um, this guy looks like he's excited. I, you know... I don't care. My issue with it is they're not setting it long enough ago and the elements are too futuristic. What I'm saying is, Make it be about a hundred years ago, and then the various elements are things that we have now. What I'm talking about is an alternate reality, an alternate reality known as the steampunk universe. Okay. And what I'm thinking is that they could create some kind of a, a character in the Star Wars world that comes through some kind of a rift, and he has a little helicopter on top of his umbrella. And his name is Sir Arthur Brass Buttons. And I've written That's all about this character. character in my fiction. Yeah, and he has a sort of a lot of erotic exploits. Helicopter um, Umbrella it sounds like one of my best friends, Penguin, who I know. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I hear the fandom is split in terms of this trailer. So uh, I've been feeling quite an energy in this room. So I think what we got to do is figure out oh. whether it's good or not. Are you familiar with the art of Ouija? Yeah, I just think it's not great sort of for like a video. Are we feeling the energy in here? There is definitely. Maybe it's me sort of like not getting enough nutrients from only eating cucumbers for seven weeks. There's definitely ghosts in here and I think we should ask. I have ghosts okay. in my head all the time. So you uh, have to put your hands out on it. All right. Please tell us, will the new Star Wars movie be good? Uh, 
<sighs> nothing has happened. And this is my issue with this. It's just not, it's just sitting there. How, how long are we going to do this for? I just don't think this is good. This is not entertaining. Well, I guess the spirits aren't going to talk to us today. Maybe it's because you're in some weird f***ing character. Mm, okay. Yeah, you're going you're to do Joker the whole time? Yeah, I already, we already talked about it. Alright. So, what else are we talking about? Yeah. Uh, Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Um, that you f threw up. I said at the beginning no, we'll I just do this in a tomorrow or something. No, I swear to God, it's I didn't throw up. Well, we have to stop it. Stop. I don't think Marissa is doing Why you well. Why go to the bathroom? Can't believe you just did Ter it. There. The Terminator movie is coming out. Oh. <sighs> We're starting and... again. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Linda Hamilton are in it together. I'm excited to see where they take the whole Terminator thing. I would kind of love to see a dirigible fight in the murky skies of London town. Instead of a liquid metal Terminator, they could have one made entirely of brass gears. I think Terminator's finally getting it right by casting Gabriel Luna as the Terminator. <laughs> He's Hispanic. <laughs> and they're making a Terminator diverse now. I like that. I think I'm gonna start eating paper. Um, I disagree. I'm sick of Hollywood cramming this social justice agenda. Shut up! I'm sorry to say this, but the Terminator is a white robot, and they're just not being true to the source material. It is a white robot, no, and it's it's just, they're basically ruined my childhood by casting no. a Latino uh, Terminator. Oh, and oh, let me, this is the Joker telling you, uh, October, uh, which camera should I do it on? I think it's, oh, starting tonight. You should come to my Joker play at Vital Joint tonight on Halloween, 9 p.m., 109 Messerol Street. Ha ha ha! Is Skylar gonna come clean up the vomit or? Yeah, Skylar, can you clean up the vomit? But I hate to say this, can you just use your hands? Cause we're, the paper towels are not cheap. 